One day, Edward was in the shed where he lived with the other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again, said Gordon. He wants strong engines like us. But the driver of Fireman felt sorry for Edward. Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please, said Edward. So they lit his fire, made lots of steam, and Edward puffed away. The other engines were very cross at being left behind. Edward worked hard all day. The coaches thought he was very kind and the driver was very pleased. It, it wasn't my fault. I, I was concerned for Henrietta. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It's only Gordon back to front. Hello, Call Thomas. Playing tank engines. Sensible engine. Take my advice. Scrap yourself. Is it good? Yes, yes. How good is that dick? Oh, how good is that dick, baby? Oh, oh. Marvin, Jeffy, get in here. Sorry, baby. I was wiping Jeffy. And it was a stinky one. Marvin, he's 19. I just poop it in your shed. Oh no! That will never suit his grace. Who cares about his grace anyway? You just did something illegal, Peterson. Wait, what? It is time to pay the consequences. No, no more Peterson tunnel. No! Every day, the fat controller came to the station to catch his train. Hello, he always said to Thomas. Remember, don't be impatient, Thomas. You can never be as strong and fast as Gordon, but you can be a really useful engine. Don't let the silly trucks tease you. There were lots of trucks, and Thomas worked very hard pushing and pulling them into place. There was also a small coach and two strange things his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, he told Thomas. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. One day, Thomas was in the yard. Suddenly, he heard an engine whistling, Help! Help! A goods train came rushing through much too fast. The engine was James, 
and he was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire. They're pushing me, they're pushing me, he panted. On, 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 laughed the trucks. Still whistling, help, help, poor James disappeared. I'd like to teach those trucks a lesson, said Thomas the tank engine. Soon came the alarm. James is off the line, the breakdown train, quickly. Thomas was coupled on and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. Hurry, 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 he puffed. He wasn't pretending to be like Gordon. He really meant it. Bother those trucks and their tricks. I hope poor James isn't hurt. James's driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James, they said. It wasn't your fault. It was those wooden brakes they gave you. We always said they were no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside. Then he pulled the unhurt trucks out of the way. Oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right, serves you right, puffed Thomas. He was hard at work, puffing backwards and forwards all afternoon. This'll teach you a lesson, this'll teach you a lesson, he told the trucks. And they answered, yes it will, yes it will. They left the broken trucks, then with two cranes they put James back on the rails. He tried to move, but he couldn't, so Thomas helped him back to the shed. The fat controller was waiting anxiously for them. Well, Thomas, he said, I've heard all about it and I'm very pleased with you. You're a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint. And you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Annie and Claribel. He puffs proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is never lonely. Edward and Henry stop quite often and tell him the news. Gordon is always in a hurry, but never forgets to say poop poop, and Thomas always whistles peep peep in return. I went to turn the point. Now for my plan, thought Thomas. Pumping the trucks fiercely, he jerked his driver off the footplate and followed them into the siding. Come back, yelled his driver. into the yard. He was feeling put upon and said so. I feel put upon, he complained to Thomas. Thomas was confused. Put upon what? The rails? No, put upon with too much work. Driver says he is too. Put upon? What a silly saying, replied Thomas. But Annie and Clarabelle liked it, and when Thomas took them away, they sang about it. Percy's been put upon. 
Thomas is a tank engine who lives in the big station in the island of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine who has six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dump. Hey, Italian man! Huh? Ah! What is going on here? Oh! Can you guys shut the f*** ah. up here? Yeah. My heart is the cold. My moves are the cold. I wake up, I go to my front door, and I see Jenna Ortega is there. She's out there in a dress looking all fine. And I guess she was feeling spontaneous because she asked me to be her boyfriend. So we went on a date. Everybody was recognizing her, of course, because she's Jenna Ortega, bro. And then... Did you see him straining? Asked Henry. Positively painful, remarked James. Just pathetic, grunted Gordon. Edward, you should give up and scrap yourself. <laughs>